Hi, this is Thomas Vecca, and this will be a tutorial for Virtual Cell version 5.1. Virtual Cell is an environment for modeling cell biological processes developed at the National Resource for Cell Analysis and Modeling at the University of Connecticut Health Center. It is funded by the NIH, and this will be a tutorial for a fluorescent redistribution after photobleaching or FRAP process. And you should already have virtual cell open. In the top left you'll see the navigation tree where you can move through various stages of your model. In the bottom left will be the database where you can search for models that have already been created. And in the top right is where you'll be building the actual physiology of the model. And in the bottom right will display detailed information on the components of the model that you create. So the first thing we're going to do is have the select tool chosen and we're going to click into the white region labeled C0. And in the bottom right, we're going to go where it says structure name and change it to EC for extracellular. So this will represent the space outside the cell. And next we'll create the region for the actual cell by selecting the structure tool and clicking within EC. And with the red inner compartment selected, we'll change the name to site for cytosol and then we will select the membrane and change its name to PM for plasma membrane. So now we've created the cell and we need to create the species so we'll click the species tool and click within the site region and it will create a species. Enter dex for its name and in the annotation field enter dextrin. So now we've created the structure and it's time to move on to creating the application. So within the navigation tree, click where it says applications and select add new deterministic. And now you can rename your application by either double clicking here or right clicking and selecting rename. And for this tutorial, we'll just name it FRAP. And now that the application is selected, you should be at the geometry window by default. Click where it says Geometry Definition, and then select Add Geometry, New, Analytic Equations, Two-Dimensional. And then we'll subdomain 0 will pop up, and we'll change the name to EC. So this region will represent the extracellular region. And if you can't see it, you can um, use these arrows to change how your partition how to partition your screen or you can just make the window bigger and now after we created the extracellular region we need to create the actual region for the cell so go to add subdomain and where it says select subdomain shape choose circle leave the center point at 0 0 and change the radius to 10 and you'll get a preview of the expression for the circle and then if you click add new subdomain it will create it for you and if you want to edit the expression manually you can double click in the value box and do so and then if you double click in the name box you can change the name to site so now we've created the subdomain and we need to edit the size so we're going to go to edit subdomain and in the size for x and y we're going to enter 22 and for the origin in X and Y, we're going to enter negative 11. And then select OK to finalize it. And your geometry should look like this. If you can't see the circle, have the site subdomain selected here in blue, and click on bring to front. And you can do this to organize your subdomain so you can see them all. And next we're going to go to structure mapping select the line tool and then we're going to click within extracellular and drag to the EC box in the geometry column and virtual cell will automatically link the cytosol to it so what you're going to do is click within the cytosol and drag it to the site box and now we've successfully mapped the physiology we created in the structure diagram to the geometry we created in the application and next we're going to go to specifications to set our initial conditions.
and in the initial condition box you're going to double click and then we're going to enter in the following equation which is 10 times wrong 10.0 times x is less than negative 5.0 double bar x is greater than 5.0 double bar y is less than negative 5.0 double bar and then y is greater than 5.0 and then three closed parentheses and if you don't want to enter this in yourself we will copy this expression and put it into the description box so you can copy and paste it into the initial conditions and then you'll press enter to finalize it and what this expression does is it defines the location x and y coordinates where the initial condition of dex is 10 and where the concentration is not set to 10 the concentration is 0 and this is where the bleach region is and this we're able to do in a single boolean statement and after we've done that we change the diffusion constant from the default of 10 and to 20 so now we've set all the specifications we need and we can go to simulations we're going to select add new simulation and if you double click in the name box you can change the name of your simulation to whatever you want and then we'll click edit simulation and then a dialog box with parameters mesh and solver tabs will pop up for this simulation we do not need to edit the parameters so we'll go to the mesh tab and make sure you have lock aspect ratio checked and what this does is as you change one of the coordinates it'll change the other ones accordingly to maintain proportion and once you've done that go to the solver tab and you want to leave the integrator as the default fully implicit finite volume and under general you want to change the ending time bound to 3 and then you want to change the maximum time step from 1 tenth to 1 one hundredth and you want to leave the output interval at 0.05 seconds and then you'll click OK to finalize it and with your simulation selected click run and save simulation and then a dialog box will prompt you to type a unique name for your tutorial or for your model rather sorry and and then you'll save it to the database and the running status will tell you how far along your simulation is so it'll tell you when the job's accepted and this simulation is very simple so it doesn't take a very long time to run once the job is accepted so it started running and it completed and so now you can select the simulation and click on view simulation results and where it says time, you can change the time from the output intervals and see how the concentration of dex has changed within the cell. And while you're in looking at the simulation results, it's important to notice what the maximum and minimum values are because sometimes they might not start differing until the millions or a very negligible amount of difference. But V cell will it will still display it as this color scheme so it might look like it changed a lot but it hasn't so it's always important to check the maximum and minimum values here to ensure see just how much it is changing and then you can use the line or the spline tool to select a region of interest and create a spatial plot which so this is what the spatial plot would look like but for this model it's more interesting to use the point tool and you select one or more points at within the cell and create a time plot and so it'll create a time plot for you and it'll display data for each of the points you've selected for the concentration of decks and then if we had created, uh, created other species within this model you could select them and it will show the concentrations of those species at this point but these three the sizes and the volumes those are constant and they don't change and then if you want you can also view it as a spreadsheet which you could then right click and select copy 
certain values or copy all of the values and paste them into Microsoft Excel and save it as a document. And that has been the Simple Frap tutorial.